Hi everyone, Richard here. Look what I have. These are the SD cards that I got from online. I'm going to do a benchmark on all these because nowadays the cameras and even the action cams are shooting at very high bit rates. Some, some, some can go up to 100 Mbps. File size is huge. You got about 4K 60 frames per second. And uh, we will try out some of these SD cards. If you got the wrong SD card, it will cause problems to your camera, to your action cam, it will crash. Even dash cams, if you use the wrong SD card, it will just crash. So best to test them out. And uh, some of them are very highly rated, but we'll see you in the benchmark. Actually, what are the speeds? <laughs> We have a few cards here. This is the Lexa Professional 667X. And then we have the A Data High Endurance and the Kingston Canvas Go Plus and the Samsung Evo Plus. There's two versions of this. This is the uh, U1. There's also another U3, which I'm already benchmarking in the tablet. So there's two types of Samsung 6. All of them are 64 GB. So you have U3 cards and U1 card here, but uh, we'll just see what's the difference then. We'll start with the Lexa. These specs is a uh, UHS Speed 3. That means uh, it's a U3 card, and then the Class 10, and the video speed is uh, V30. So you can see the, the specs are here, right? So do check out the specs before you purchase for your uh, hardware and this is actually an read speed up to 100 mbps and write speed up to 90 mbps so the operating temperature of this is from 0 celsius to 70 celsius do bear in mind you have to check all the operating temperature as well so if you take this to a sub-zero place uh, with camera you may have problems it may freeze right so do check the temperature as well when you purchase the sd card then we have the kingston canvas go plus right so this is also a u3 micro sd card and it's also v30 is a to same specs with this but it says it can do uh, read up to 170 mbps that's very very fast but its write speed is only 70 mbps so it's much slower than this in write speed so we'll do the test and this is a minus 25 to 85 celsius it can operate in that kind of temperature minus 25 that's very good right oh i forgot to mention this is a lifetime warranty limited warranty lifetime limited warranty same as this lifetime limited warranty and then we have a look at the A data. So this is also a U3 micro SD card, the V30 as well, same. And the write speed, the read speed of this is 100 Mbps, and the write speed is 80 Mbps, which is also operating at minus 25 to 85 Celsius. But this is only two years limited warranty. So this is A data. And then we have the Samsung Evo Plus. This is the U1 version. There is a U3. Uh, so when you buy, do keep in mind there's two types. It, it looks the same. The color is the same. But U3 and U1 is different. And in the sense that U3 goes up to, uh, reads up to 100 Mbps and writes up to 90 Mbps. Whereas this version, the U1, reads up to 100 Mbps but it writes up to 20 mbps so it's way much slower in terms of write but we'll do a benchmark to see what specs difference really from the u3 and the u1 but this is only 10 years uh, limited warranty for samsung and then we have the send this this is the one i've been using for my cameras this is uh, highly rated uh, this is send this 64 mb as well is also a U3 card, uh, V30, 
this is 170 mbps and then uh, 90 mbps right so it's similar to this one surprising right so kingston speed and the sandisk extreme pro shares the similar speeds maybe they are oem on that oh my mistake this one is 70 mbps right this is 90 mbps right so it's not the same and is this one is also limited lifetime warranty at same operating temperature minus 25 to 85 celsius so we run the benchmark and have a look who's the king of the micro sd card suitable for your cameras or your phone So I've done all the benchmark. So let's look at the first uh, result. This is the Samsung Evo Plus, which is a U1 card. It's supposed to be uh, having a read speed of 100 Mbps and a write speed of 20 Mbps. So we got 85 for read and uh, about 28 for write. So we'll look at the U3. There's the next one, which is a Samsung U3. And surprisingly, the read speed for the U3 is 74, is rated at 100 Mbps, but the write speed is 32 Mbps and is rated for 90 Mbps. So it's really different from the 90 that is being published in the uh, packaging and the website. So this is the Sandys Extreme Pro, which is rated at 170 Mbps read speed with the write speed of 90 mbps what we're getting is 83 read and 55 write so i have a suspicious uh, feeling that this tab has a limitation of uh, up to 100 mbps uh, read speed so you have to look at all the benchmarks and you're getting an average around 80 that means there is a limitation on the hardware so again, the next one, we have the Kingston Canvas Go, and this is rated at 170 as well for read and 70 MBBS for write. But we are getting very good uh, 83 and 45 for write. So it's quite interesting. Okay, coming to the last two, we have the A Data High Endurance is rated for 100 MBBS read and 80 mbps writes so it's getting 85 read and 32 write so this is the speed i would think it's still a hardware issue rather than the sd card because it's not achieving the above 100 so we need to test it on the camera but you you're not going to get a benchmark app on the camera itself and the last one, which is, I was very excited because everyone recommends Lexa, right? So this is Lexa Professional 667X, rated for 100 MBBS read and 90 MBBS write. But what we got was 73 read and 43 write. So I guess the winner here is with the highest write speed. Let's go back to 55. So the Sandisk Extreme Pro has the highest write speed of 55 Mbps. So that's what most people recommend as well for action cams. And I, I'm using it for my camera as well. So I would think the read speed, it can read faster in the camera. But the write speed is at 55. That is rated for... 90 mbps so that's it so i would think it's more of a hardware issue than purely uh, sd card but in terms of value i think the samsung uh, sd cards give the best value because they are quite low in price but uh, you're only getting roughly about 30 mbps kind of right speed uh, which is more than sufficient, I think, for action camps.
uh, not really for the 4K 60 or 4K uh, camera here, which is having above 100 Mbps uh, bit rate. So there you have it. I've arranged the micro SDs according to their right speed. So the ranking one, so I send this, and then you have Kingston, surprisingly. Kingston's not bad. And then you have Lexa and the A Data and the two Samsungs at the bottom. So this is how the right speed will be. I would think the Sandys Extreme Pro is a best bet for all your devices. So thanks for watching. Do follow me on my next video and give me a thumbs up if you like this review. And uh, before I go, I think some of you are wondering why am I using a micro SD card for my camera? Because <laughs> I'm using the adapters. Uh, if you really want high, fast, read, speed, write speed, you need to go for the full SD card, which is you're getting above 100 Mbps. So currently I'm still using this. I may move on to a higher write speed card and maybe I'll do benchmarks on that. So see you on the next video. Bye.